What's going on there, folks? Good morning. I think it's morning everywhere. It is uh, Friday, by the way. October 6, 2023. Goodness. Nice chilly mo morning out here in Northern California. At about 54 degrees. Very pleasant. It's supposed to be about 95 degrees today, later this afternoon. Latest activity uh, still shows movement out around Kilauea Volcano. Goodness. Still seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity, a little bit further migration up here towards the lava lake area of Kilauea Volcano. Let's double check the latest informational statement here from the HVO. Let's key this up, uh, which is still put out from yesterday. Uh, they just kind of discussed about the uh, activity occurring between 2 and 3.5 kilometers deep in the area of the 1974 eruption vents so could be looking at maybe potentially seeing those reactivate definitely keep an eye on the kilauea volcano as that is uh definitely uh, showing signs of some elevated activity out there in the last couple days all right the other big picture of course we got izu trench out here the latest earthquake of 5.0 about an hour or so ago uh for the most part overnight uh, we did see at least three earthquakes now these are just 4.5 and above shown up here on the map latest one again a 5.0 that is in the mix of all this earthquake activity bringing up a total tally here in the last seven days of about 65 earthquakes now those are all various magnitudes including a couple sixes three sixes to be exact and quite a few fives and fours and i'm sure there's a bunch of threes in there as well but of course you know the usgs only showing a limited amount of earthquake activity and magnitudes but we'll continue to watch this see how this plays out overnight really haven't seen any uh any large-scale movement elsewhere uh, not a whole lot of advancement here across the java trench for now uh, look at the earthquake 3d globe here shows minimal movement across this area of the plate boundary including areas around the Middle East and Mediterranean, all just showing small microquake activity. Meanwhile, Hawaii and the Volcano Island showing some elevated movement. Could that have something to do with, uh, well, magma movement below? Maybe the uh, a huge amount. Obviously, there's, you know, underneath the surface that we're standing on. Uh, but there, there must be something brewing down here, uh, adjusting, that's kicking up this uh, type of activity. Whether it's stress or volcanic activity, I guess we will see and continue to watch this for uh, some either some large scale movement or potentially uh, volcanic activity out there. A little bit of activity out into the New Guinea area, Papua New Guinea. Looks like they did see uh, close to a five pointer, 4.9 earlier this morning. Checking out the West Coast here, not a whole lot of elevated activity. In fact, nothing showing up here on the map in the last hour. A look at the last 24 hours here only shows one earthquake from yesterday for a 2.7 outside of Red Bluff, California. Aside from that, mostly smaller microquakes, no major swarms, no major unusual activity to note here across the eastern portion of the Pacific Plate for now. A look at the space weather activity out here. Did see a little bit of sea flare activity kicking up here on the chart. Not a big deal. Uh, over the past couple days, we've seen a handful of small sea flares, but that's about it. Uh, we do have a coronal hole right here, number 57. That is, uh, well, it looks like it will be positioned into the Earth directed view here uh, in a couple days. Continue to watch this beautiful uh, filament area up there as well. It has not blasted off. As far as flare threat goes about 99 percent chance for a c flare m flare at 30 and x flare remains at five percent a look at the magnetogram image here the latest imagery still shows this uh it's pretty good sized regional sunspot continuing to drift off towards the western limb of the sun while we get left with a couple sunspots out here that are really even not right in home to grandma about. I'm not even joking. These are just dissipating and continuing to die off. Over here around the eastern limb, I had my hopes up a little bit that we were looking at some complex structure within these uh, newer sunspot regions. But a glimpse at this one today shows relatively that my hopes were gone. They were squashed for the most part. There's not a whole lot of uh, uh, complexity within that sunspot region. 
All right, severe weather threat. I don't know what's going on here today, but it looks like we are calm for the most part. Only a handful of smaller areas out here across the states that are even dealing with some thunderstorms. That's a little odd, but uh, we we'll continue to watch that. Again, no major severe weather threat out there today. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. I do have a super, super, super busy day, and a little bit later on, I'll be posting a video here for the members. Make sure you guys uh, join the channel. Looks like we had a 4.2 outside of Anchorage within the last 40 minutes or so. 4.2, 39 kilometers deep. Didn't see that one. Uh, 39, 4.2, 39 kilometers deep, followed up by it looks like a little aftershock activity here. Uh, near the Elmendorf area outside of Anchorage is literally a couple miles a uh, few folks reported that around mainly around that big city of Anchorage some light shaking going on out there all right we'll continue to watch the activity and of course report back on any unusual movement or newsworthy articles all the seismograph stations here look fairly quiet for now. A little spotty activity there across Yellowstone. But uh, I don't know what happened to my hot cave station here. It disappeared. Looks like they took that down. All right, we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later. And uh, members, look for that video a little bit later on this afternoon. Take care. I'll catch you guys later. Enjoy your Friday.